explain the two options. I'm glad you asked. Here's where we are now. Jim 017. Uh -huh. And our next release uh -huh. is uh, in January of 2012. Right. And there are two options that could be. That could be 1.8 uh -huh. or that could be 2.5. Why is that? Well, it's, um, it's a funny thing that um, the releases after this would be 2.0, uh -huh. 2.1, uh -huh. 2.5, then 3.0, 3.1, 3.5, and so on. Our long-term, this would be our long-term release, and this would be a long-term release, uh -huh. or LTS. And so um, we've decided to add the moniker of 0.5 uh -huh. onto all long-term releases so you can identify them. Oh, can I ask a really quick question? Sure. 0.5, that's the most mature version of a release, right? Actually, yes. That's awesome. a good point because okay. um, these releases are associated with one another. The 2.0 is the most immature version uh -huh. of this particular series, leading, and that's a short-term release. Uh -huh. And so is 2.1 for that matter. Uh -huh. But 2.5 is the most mature of this series, therefore it makes the most sense to support that one for the longest. Because it's the most be, stable. That's right, it'll be okay. 18 months. And then that will start over again with 3.0, and these releases will be associated with one another. So can I ask another question? Sure. So basically, the reason that we're asking this to the community is because you guys have recently changed the cycle, like how uh, the development cycle, right? We're, is that correct? correct? Absolutely okay. correct. So we changed from a, uh, a feature-based development cycle to a time-based development cycle. So in the feature base, we'd have a certain number of features, and then we'd release the next version. However, this, now we've changed this last year, so now we're going to time base. So every six months, there will be a new release of Joomla, and whatever features make it in within that six months will be part of whatever that release is. And then we'll also put a stake in the ground as far as the platform is concerned, what platform, version of the platform, will be included in that release as well. Okay. So, so we're at a fork in the road of sorts here. Okay, so basically, no matter what we decide for January, whether it's 1.8 or 2.5, whatever we decide to call it, we're eventually really going to start using this, this method of Correct. documentation. Correct. It's just a cycles. question of the bridge that we use to get there. We can either jump from 1.7 to 1.8, and this is a long-term release. But for the next 18 months, we'll have to explain why all long-term releases have the 0.5 moniker except the 1.8. Okay. Or we can go the route of just jumping straight from to 2.5 or 1.7. Now people will wonder why there's no 2.0, and that's, you know, a drawback of this particular plan. But with 2.5, you're automatically, immediately in sync with all long-term releases using the 0.5 moniker. And that's even backwards compatible with 1.5 which was also a long-term release. So that's a little bit easier to explain down the road, but this is uh, maybe a smoother transition right. in, the, in the short term. So let me just clarify this again. The only reason we're having this bump right now in terms of the naming is because we just changed this development because cycle. Because we changed the development cycle yes. and we're out of sync. Right. So we need to get back in sync one way or the right. other. And really, the changes are actually good changes that in the long term, uh, you know, vision of the project is going to make the releases better, more stable, and really more up to par with best practices. Right, and the versioning system is actually going to make sense after that because you'll be able to associate versions together and you'll instantly know by the number of the version whether it's a short term release or a long term release. Thank you, that was very, very clear. Thank you. You're welcome.